Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to lesson 2.8, Adjust Quotients. Our essential question is, how can you adjust the quotient if your estimate is too high or too low? Please turn in your Go Math book to lesson 2.8, and let's get started. Now, looking at the example that they gave you, you can see that they're showing you that this 5 right here is what somebody guessed. That's what you call your estimate of what you think. And an estimate is an educated guess. So what this person did was they started out by saying 97 tens divided by 16. I'm going to take a guess and say 5. So then when they multiplied, they realized that there was 80 tens that they used. And when they subtracted, they said, whoa, wait, when I check, I noticed that 17 is greater than 16. <gasps> I could have gone one more time. So that's what you do. You have to adjust your quotient. So this person then decided five isn't going to work. Let's adjust it and do six. So this is why they started out with six. And then when you multiply and you subtract, you see one is less than 16. Bring down my six and it works. So six was the first starting digit you should use. Well, that's what we're gonna practice today. So let's go ahead and look at our next question. Let's start with question number two. Now this person, we're just gonna imagine somebody, we'll call him Fred. <laughs> so let's say our friend Fred, looked at this question and he saw that of course you could not divide six hundreds into 24 groups so he looked at 68 and he was probably using his educated estimate and said I'm gonna count by 20s and do 20 40 60 and so he put a 3 up here but let's go ahead and work it out and see if it works 3 times 4 is 12 so we're gonna carry our 1 drop our 2 3 times 2 tens is 6 tens plus 1 more is 7. All right, stop right there. We need to adjust the quotient because I can't subtract 68 take away 72. It won't work. So this is where our estimate of 3 is too large, and we're going to help our friend Fred out, and we're going to adjust his quotient, and we're going to call it two groups of 24. So let's go ahead right next to your question. They gave you some room in your Go Math book. I want you to rewrite this as 689 divided by 24, and we're going to put a 2 above our tens place. And now we can go ahead and multiply. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 tens is 4 tens. And now we can subtract. And I can see that I have 20 tens left over. And let's check. 20 is less than 24, it works. So I'm ready to bring down my nine ones. And we can just go ahead and finish out the equation now. So now I have 209 ones. And here's where we're going to be making our next educated estimate, counting by 24s to try to get to 209 ones. I'm gonna go ahead and estimate 24s really close to 25. So I'm gonna go ahead and list my multiples of 25. 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, 200. I'm going to go ahead and stop right there. And how many groups of 25 is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm going to estimate, because this is really close to 25, I'm going to say 8 groups of 24 will probably go into 209. All right, let's go ahead and count. Eight times four is 32. Eight times two tens is 16 tens, plus three more is 19 tens. And when we subtract, we're gonna see that we have 17 left over. So there's your answer, 28 with the remainder of 17. And we had to adjust our quotient from a three estimate down to two tens of an estimate. All right, so let's go ahead and look at question number three. It's 2,210 divided by 65. Now, let's see if we have to adjust this estimate. Now, this one said that there were three groups of 65 in 221 tens. The reason why it's in our tens place is because you don't have enough thousands to divide into 65 groups, and you don't have enough hundreds to divide 22 hundreds into 65 groups. So we have to start with our tens place, 221 tens divided by 65. 
So let's go ahead and see if this person did a good estimate of 3 tenths. All right, let's go ahead and multiply what this one did. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 6 is 18, plus one more is 19. Now when we subtract, let's go ahead and regroup. There's 26 left over. Now that's less than 65. It's not greater than 65, so 3 was a perfect estimate to start with. So now we can keep going. So this one, we don't have to adjust at all. You don't always have to adjust, but this one, we did not have to. So now that we have subtracted, now we can, we checked 26 is less than 65. We can bring down our zero ones. And now we're gonna do 260 ones divided by 65. Now I already know by looking at this, I have three groups of 65 is 195, and this is 260. So I'm gonna guess one more group of 65. So I'm gonna make this a four in my quotient of four ones. Let's see if that'll work. Let's go ahead and multiply. Four times five is 20. Go ahead and do that. Four times six tens is 24 tens, plus two more is 26 tens. Well, look at that, that is exactly the answer. So when we subtract, we see we have nothing left over. There's no remainder. So 2,210 divided by 65 is 34. All right, let's take a look at question four. It's 7,035 divided by 38. And let's start by looking in our thousands place. You can see that they did not put a quotient starting in thousands because there's only seven thousands, but there's 38 groups. So they started in the hundreds place. Now this person, estimated two groups of 38. Now, I think I'm already gonna have to adjust that because if I round this up to 40, 40 times two is 80. I think they might have went too far. Let's check. Two times eight is 16, so I'm gonna carry my one and drop my six. Two times three is six tens plus one more is seven. Yeah, do you see right away 76 is greater than 70? I can't subtract. So their estimate was a little too high. So let's go ahead and adjust the quotient. So we're gonna start by rewriting it right next to the problem, 7,035 divided by 38. And we already know that they went too high with one, so I'm just gonna go down one. And let's go ahead and divide one group of 38. So, so one times eight is eight, and one times three is three, so it's 38. Let's go ahead and subtract, and you have 32 is as the difference. So let's check. Is 32 less than 38? Yes, it is. So we did a great um, number in our quotient for our hundreds place. Now let's bring down our tens. So we're going to have three tens to add to our 32 hundreds. So now I'm going to have to divide 328 divided by 38. Now. I'm gonna go ahead and estimate 38 to be close to 40, and I'm just gonna start listing my multiples of 40 so I can pick a good number to go in my tens place. So let's go ahead and list our multiples of 40. Just think by counting by fourth, but we're adding a zero after it. 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, 240, 280, 320, and I think I better stop there because that's really close to 323. So let's see how many groups that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna put an eight right up here above my tens place, and let's go ahead and we can, let me go ahead and erase that now, okay. Let's go ahead and multiply to see how close we are. Eight times eight ones is 64 ones. Do this with me. Eight times three tens is 24 tens, plus six more is gonna be 30. So let's subtract and see if we have a good, reasonable answer. We have um, 13 minus four is nine. One minus zero is one. So yeah, 19 is less than 38. Now we have to bring down this five. And I know this is a long process, just bear with me. All right, now we're gonna drop down our ones place and now we just have to divide up our ones. All right, 
So I have 195 ones to divide by 38. So let's go ahead and remember our multiples are, I'm gonna go ahead and estimate that close to 40 is my divisor, 40, 80, 120, 160, 200. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a five up here. And the reason why I am is because 200 is very close to 195, but remember my 38 is less than 40. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a guess of five ones, and if it's not correct, we'll just adjust it, that's okay. All right, five times eight is 40, so let's change this to a four and drop my zero ones. Five times three tens is 15 tens, plus four more is 19 tens. And look at that, when I subtract, I will have a remainder of five. And let's check, is five less than 38? Yes, it is. So five was the appropriate number for our ones place. All right, so our answer should be 185 with a remainder of five. All right, so let's look at our word problem number 14 at the bottom. It says Erica is saving her money to buy a dining room set that costs $580. If she saves $29 each month, how many months? Will she need to save to have enough money to buy the set? Now, we know that it costs $580 and she saves $29 each month. So let's go ahead and just pick a good reasonable estimate for the first place value that we're going to write. Now let's start and look at our hundreds place. If I have five hundreds, I cannot put a hundred in each of my um, groups of 29. So therefore, I'm going to have to look at my tens place. So I have 58 tens. Can so let's go ahead and do 58 divided by 29. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'm gonna guess about two. And of course, I can adjust the quotient if I multiply and see I'm wrong. All right, two times nine is 18. Two times two tens is four tens, plus one more is five tens. Do we need to adjust our quotient? No, we don't, because as you can see, we guessed correctly two groups of 29 is 58, because when you subtract, there's nothing left over. So that was our tens place, but remember, According to our steps, we divide, we multiplied, we subtract, we checked, and now we're gonna bring down our ones place. So go ahead and just drop your little zero right there. And we don't just stop, because that doesn't make sense. How many months will she need to save? Well, she can't just save two months, that doesn't make sense. We gotta repeat our process, go back up to divide. Zero divided by 29 would be zero. So we're gonna put a zero right up here in our ones place. Now let's multiply, zero times 29 is zero. Subtract, zero take away zero is zero. Check, is zero less than 29? Yes it is, nothing left to bring down. So how many months will it take her to buy the set? It'll take her 20 months to buy the set if she saves $29 each month. All right, here are your two homework questions to do on your own. We'll be checking together in class tomorrow. And then please also, do questions three through six on your own as well. And of course, at the top of your page, please go ahead and write down, if you feel like you're a novice, please put a one, apprentice, two, practitioner, three, expert, four, if you understand how to adjust your quotient. And here are your questions again. Remember, tomorrow in class, we'll be doing some practice problems together so that way you really feel comfortable doing this. Again, this is a step you've probably already been doing as you've been dividing over the last couple weeks. Um, but this is just showing you that you have to adjust your quotient if you make a wrong estimate. Work out your problems carefully. We'll check them in the morning. Have a great night.